Time to get some bread. Straight up, I'm a workaholic. And, you know, I've been trying to work on it, work on that work-life balance kind of thing. And it's really hard. You get to the point where I, why you want to work so much and not spend too much time on life type stuff. And for me, it's like I want to spend more time with my family. And this is the reason why I'm working hard now so I can have more freedom in the future. Because right now, I don't get a chance to spend as much time with my family because, you know, working during the night, doing these things, and yeah, just trying to make things happen. All right, time to get this bread. Don't sleep on the bread. Do not sleep on this bread. And Jira, the best. Back at it really quick, as you see my daughters eating some peaches back there. I think it stems from not having a lot as a kid. And I just remember this conversation like a long time ago and it kind of like stuck in my head. And it went something like this. Hey dad, can I get some McDonald's? You got some McDonald's money? What's McDonald's money? It just kept me in a mindset. If I need to get something, I need to work hard for it and I need to make it happen for myself. And another thing I think it also stems from not being able to depend on others financially. I'm really going to try to like cut out some time and try to do those type of things. But you know, I continue to come to like different things. Like after working for eight hours, I gotta listen to people scream. People make messes with their peaches. Daddy, please. You done? You made a lot of mess. Delicious peaches. All right, back to this topic. Yeah. So, yeah, my name is Ronald, and hi, hi Ronald. Hi. Yeah. Hi. And I'm a workaholic. However, I still need to balance this thing out where I need to like cut out some time for my family and my daughter and stuff also my dogs so uh, I'm trying to figure out that balance and everything and I think that that's where I'm really trying to get at is trying to get to this point where I'm not continuously working and I have a really good understanding of what they need and what they require of me during these times after those eight hour work days I, I work on my projects and stuff so I'm trying to figure out that time. I really get really in depth with my projects and I continue to work on them until I get it where I needed to get it. Sometimes up to 12 o'clock or two o'clock in the morning. Another thing too, when I'm not working, I'm like sitting on the couch and I'm doing some stuff with the family. I'm like constantly looking at my phone for stats and stuff and seeing what content is hitting and what content isn't and just looking at the numbers. So, yeah, that's just one thing as far as like YouTube, but also like other stuff as well as far as applications that I built before. So yeah, my mind just continues to wander when I'm not there. And I, I think I really need to figure out how to turn that off. Because while I'm just sitting there, I'm just like always constantly thinking about how is that project going to be working out? How is that going to play out in the bigger scheme of things? How is that going to scale? What what problems I might like? I just continue to think about that. 
I think at the end of the day, while I'm not doing work, I really have to be in the moment, put down the phone, and you know, really focus on the family kind of thing. So that's what I'm gonna be working on as I still go through this journey of being a software engineer entrepreneur. And yeah, hopefully this information might be useful for anyone who continues to be in this kind of like lane. Yeah, check out my day one right here. As you can see, she was here since the beginning of my journey. And you know, she just continued to be so beautiful. About 12 o'clock in the morning. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Thank you.